This mini sounds great, but we can make it sound better and give it more performance while keeping it emissions friendly. Let's get on with that. So these are the FI exhaust downpipes, and these are actually sports catted. So these have a 200 cells per square inch catalytic converter inside, which you can see just through there, that little peephole. And what that means is it's gonna keep it emissions and MOT friendly, which is obviously quite keen here in the UK if you don't want any issues. This is then being ceramic coated, which is why we've got this lovely gold finish. That's gonna keep the temperatures inside the pipe work and it doesn't let the hot air or the, the heat come out of the exhaust itself. This has a mini cat actually in the secondary lambda, which means again, don't need to remap it and it then doesn't bring emissions or warning lights up on your dashboard effectively. So this is going to be quite an involved installation, subframe down amongst a few other bits and pieces. But as a whole, I'm impressed by the look of these downpipes. Let's get into this one and enjoy the video. So here we have the upgraded downpipe for our JCW development car. Finally managed to steal the keys back from Dan. So it's the time for the next installment on our power upgrades, which is this sports catted downpipe, which is from our friends at FI. So 200 cell sports cat, which keeps this as a road legal modification. This should be more than adequate to get you through your MOTs. Uh, this particular model is for our OPF equipped car. So you've got three sensor locations on the downpipe, primary and secondary lambda holes. And then this here is for the back pressure sensor in relation to the OPF on the car. So the original part is in single piece, FI supply in two pieces. As you can tell from the interesting gold color of the downpipe, it has been ceramic coated. That is to reduce the ambient heat levels within the engine bay itself. It is shrouded by a factory uh, heat shield. However, with this coating, you could potentially leave that off if you wanted to. Obviously, it's also quite aesthetically pleasing. One of Dan's favorite colors. So he was very pleased to see this lot turn up. Um, but yeah, unfortunately it hides down at the back of the engine, which is a quite difficult to get to and B, a bit out of sight once we get there. So we'll bring you guys along with us on the journey of installing this, um, get plenty of footage and stills of it installed in its location where it's going to live once it's on the car. Uh, I think that about covers it. Like I said the main thing with this is being sports catted. It should, well, it will keep us road legal and it should mean that the noise levels aren't too high when it comes to our track use. So looking forward to getting this on, seeing what difference it makes. We'll compare midpoint old to new. It might be that we can see that there's benefits with regards to the flow um, and reduction of restriction, which is quite often found in the stock factory part. So again, we'll tap back in at that point once I've got. <coughs> so we will drop back in with you guys midpoint to show you before and after. So standard versus sports cat down pipe, just so you really get a feel for what you're getting into with this product. Um, we've already got the cap back on here. So what that means is that either half of the system could be used independently should you wish. So this could be used with a standard system, which in my experience, sometimes the sports downpipe with the stock system has quite nice results. Or as we've got it here, you've got the cap back only and what we'll have at the end of the day, which is a full turbo back system. So stay tuned, look forward to seeing the end or hearing the end result on this one. Um, thanks very much. Get down in the car, one time give it all, bust it open hard, let me see your job. Get down in the car, one time give it all, bust it open hard, let me see your job. I fucked up this Russell, gave me hustle, but then what then? Oh my so as promised, we're back in front of the camera at the halfway point. As you can see, old versus new on the side here. So the one obvious difference is the fact that the FI system is in two pieces, um, but it comes with the clamp and everything to fit it together. So in fairness, given the size of this and a moderate struggle I had getting it out from the confined space within the car, probably having it in two parts will make it easier to go back in. Uh, as suspected, there is an all encompassing heat shield on the back of the engine, which is mostly down to how tight it is in there under the bonnet, um, which covers all of this. So heat shield came off first, then the sensors, uh, and then the cat itself. So as you can see, it's got a nice large port opening here. The one thing that we swapped over from old to new is the ceiling ring on the flange here. So that's already done. Um, checked out all the port locations for the Lambda sensors and the 
uh, back pressure sensor, which will look good. Uh, I've got the PowerFlex mounts to swap over there. But all in all, a quick eyeballing up in terms of size and dimensions, it all looks good. Obviously this one looks a hell of a lot better in its ceramic coated finish. Um, nice, small, high flow sports cat. The mini cat inside, which should take care of any uh, emissions based warnings on the dash. So that's under the secondary lambda port, uh, which should allow it to think that the cat is doing its job, which it will be, it is in there. It's just the difference in flow rates can sometimes pull up a warning on your dash. So I think that's about covers it. Tim's kindly grabbed you some B-roll of the process of the car coming apart. I'm gonna try and grab you some time-lapse of everything going back in together. And by any luck, by the end of the day, we'll have some footage of what noise it makes as well. FI downpipes are now on, we're going to put it through an emissions test just so we can see what the end result is. Get down in the car, one time give it all, bust it open hard, let me see your job. Get down in the car, one time give it all, bust it open hard, let me see your job. So if you've just seen, the emission test has just been done on this car by Sam. So this downpipe is now installed. So this FI downpipe, it makes together with the rest of the cat back system. So effectively it's now turbo to tip, full FI exhaust. And it sounds absolutely insane. It's the right noise that you need for what is a two litre turbo. So I'm really pleased with this outcome. That's the old piece of German engineering that this came with. So this obviously has a 600 cells per square inch cat, which is much more restrictive. If you are looking to obtain a bit more power from your car as well as noise, then changing this is gonna make a big difference. And as we've said, it's MOT compliant, and that's what we need from our cars these days. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. Hope you enjoy the sound clips, and like always, give us a little subscribe if you can. See you soon. So big we hustle, but the nothing. Oh my.